Good morning. It is day three of sleeping in the Prius. It's going pretty well. Not gonna lie. Pretty excited about it. I've always enjoyed the idea of nomad living and I thought it was going to be impossible to do in a Prius, but so far it has proven to be easier than I thought. So for the, the past year, um, I've been in and out of living in my vehicle. Um, I did a tour last year, as I mentioned, that um, it basically took me all around the US and I was able to travel in the Prius and sleep in the Prius and do a lot of amazing things that I didn't think I was able to do. And now I'm sort of kind of doing it again. I made my way to New York uh, last week and now this week I'm on my way back all the way through to California. So I'm in Colorado right now. I don't know if you can see the mountains over there but I'm on my way back through to California, which is where Dancer Palooza is. And it is going to be so fun, so much fun driving through this because it is one of my favorite routes to drive in the United States. If you ever get the chance to drive down I-70 through Colorado into Utah, do it. It's so worth it. There are so many, there are so many amazing sites. There's a, a specific lookout that I want to film at today and I'm gonna to try to get there today um, I don't know if I will be able to um, it's about eight hours from here it's about eight hours um, I don't know it's it's so gorgeous the the view from it is amazing and if I don't hit it on this way I'm gonna hit it on the way back but my, my favorite I want to show you guys some of my favorite places along this route because it is so beautiful and it I have to say <laughs> these mountains, the view of these mountains. I, it makes me want to live in Colorado. Sorry mom, sorry dad. I want to live in Colorado. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> This is pretty darn beautiful. I decided to take a little break. I've been driving for a couple hours. Made it past the Continental Divide as it would be. Um, and uh, I saw this little outcropping of rock right next to the highway. I was like, I wanna climb that, like right now. There's a little trailhead down there. Apparently there's like a big trail that goes uh, up the side of this mountain. So yeah, I, uh, I freaking love it here. <laughs> the best trip ever. The fact that we can be passing by this stuff so easily. We could literally drive by on this highway and miss all of this. I am so lucky to get to do this and so lucky to live in a country that has such beautiful scenery and gives me the opportunity to just enjoy myself, you know? Seriously though, look at this place. Could you pick a better place to rest? It's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna try to get some pictures real quick. Then I'm gonna go back down to my car, which is over there. I don't know if you can see it here. That little dot right there, that little red car. That's me. Holy cow, this camera can zoom. Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream So fun fact, this little plant is called Kniknik and it's edible, you can eat it. 
it's something that you can use when you're lost in a mountainous uh, mountainous area, and you can you can eat it. You can make tea out of it. It's not very tasty. It's very bitter, but it's edible. So fun. <laughs> That's steep. I gotta get down, Matt. I made it down, but I thought of another fun fact. Did you know that pine trees, pine trees, or more so uh, coniferous trees, are also edible? I dare you to eat it. I dare you. Pine is actually easier to make tea with. Uh, and when I say that, I mean it's better because uh, it doesn't taste as nasty. Just so you know. No going back. There's no going back to your own life no Living in the past We're over that I'm feeling it tonight We're Riding on the dizzying high The best part about driving all the way to California is getting to take a nap. <laughs> I just literally took a nap in the back of my car for like two hours. Uh, driving while tired is not safe. So I, I decided I was gonna be safe. But again, waking up to beautiful views like this. What the heck? This is so amazing. All right, so it is 5 p.m. and I'm gonna go get some dinner and then I'm gonna keep driving for a long period of time. Woo! So this is weird. I don't know what's happening, but we're stopped. Just like in the middle of a highway, just at like stopped traffic, not stop and go. I've been in park for about 15 minutes now, so we're gonna have a nice little wait here. Okay, so apparently over there there were some boulders that they were going to blow up, which is why the traffic stopped. Never seen that before. Somewhere down there. Maybe I'll see it. I don't know. All right. Oh, off we go again. More driving. It is almost sunset, which happens earlier in the mountains for some reason. Uh, and by some reason, I mean there's mountains in the way. So it's only about 7 p.m. right now and the sun is almost below the horizon, or what is the visible horizon, but it's gonna open up here as soon as I get past Grand Junction in Colorado and turn into some amazing scenery, and I cannot wait to show you that. Look out, here she comes. Too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing her How I feel for her she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks A lot of people wouldn't get out of the car for this kind of stuff but it's too beautiful. It's too freaking beautiful. Look at this. Holy cow. 
You can't, you can't not film this. You can't not videotape it, right? Am I wrong? So ignore the clicking in the background because I got my ha hazards on because I'm on literally the side of the road right now. So a quote that really means something to me, especially in moments like this, is uh, I think it was Maddie Hapoya, another YouTuber, who said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I don't know if that was quoted from someone else or quoted from him, but I am so glad that I stopped. And moments like this sunset, this sunset was worth stopping for, even though I want to get out of this drive, even though I want to get to my destination, even though I want to get to where I'm going. It's important to just stop and appreciate the beauty of the world and the things that God made and like, holy cow, the beauty around us that we just utterly ignore all the time is just astounding to me. And it would have been really easy for me to just keep driving down the road and keep going, but I got this amazing sunset and it's so worth it, so worth it. So when in doubt, stop, take the picture because you're not gonna regret it. You're really not gonna regret it. I mean, come on, that's, it's, it's worth it, it's worth it. So I guess the point of today's video kind of came down to just wanting to spend more time being intentional about paying attention. Paying attention to what's around us. Pay, pay attention to, you know, the big things that are happening because, you know, it could have been really easy for me to just drive by those places and try to get to where I needed to go and make it easier on myself, but I put in the little extra effort to pull off to the side, to get my camera out, to take some pictures, to you know have some leisure time. I planned it out so that I could take time, which was smart to do, um, because otherwise this drive would be unbearable. But because I did that, I'm able to enjoy myself, I'm able to really appreciate the nature around me, the things that I'm seeing, the travel experience, the nomad life, living in the back of a Prius. I'm rambling now, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below uh, your favorite place that you've been. Uh, maybe, maybe it's in the U.S., maybe it's not in the U.S., maybe you've traveled abroad and done, done things on, uh, on a much broader spectrum. Tell me your favorite place that you've been or favorite place that you like to travel. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and uh, follow me on Instagram at Chris Moore Photos. All right, time to sleep in the back of Prius at a rest stop. It's gonna be great. Woo! Killing it.